Hey YouTube, welcome to Weigh In Wednesday. I'm Erin and I am 12 weeks out from vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG surgery with Dr. Guillermo Alvarez in Piedras Negras, Mexico. Uh, my stats are my high weight was 305, my um, pre op diet weight was 295, my surgery weight was 286. Last week I was 248, and today I am 245. So that's three pounds down this week, and for a total of 50 pounds. I can't believe it. 50 pounds in 12 weeks seems like something that I just couldn't have even imagined happening in the past. So, you know, I don't know. In the WLS world, 50 pounds in 12 weeks might not be, like, super, super awesome. But to me it is. I'm totally happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, last week I talked about, like, the huge difference I just all of a sudden saw in my face. And then, I don't know, like, a couple of days later I realized that was really fucking with my head. And I'm not really sure why. It's like, I couldn't, it's not so much that I don't recognize myself. Of course I recognize, I mean, I personally recognize myself. I don't look in the mirror and go, who's that? I look in the mirror and I don't see anything different. So it's not that I don't recognize myself. It's that I don't recognize the changes. Um, and I feel like I need to either come to grips with that or find a way to reconcile what I see in the mirror with what is reality because what I don't want to happen is I don't want to get to goal and <coughs> excuse me I still have this freaking cough and look in the mirror and still see morbidly obese and even though I'm not and um the reason that that worries me is because I don't want to be continuing to push myself to lose when I'm already thin, which is, you know, what led me to eating disorders when I was, you know, a freshman in high school. So I don't want, <coughs> oh my God, I don't want that. Um, yeah. So, you hear my stupid cough. It gets really bad at night and early in the morning. Uh, <coughs> so, because of that, I wasn't able to do the 5K that I had signed up for. Um, it was a charity color run, so I didn't... Um, I really wanted to go. I know the family personally. Of course, I know everyone in the town I live in because it's really small. Um... So I was really bummed about that, but it was at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's very cold here, and I just didn't think I wanted to hack and cough and, like, kill myself through the whole thing. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so I didn't get to do that. Hmm. I'm sure there will be other opportunities, and I'll get to do a different one, but for now, I didn't get to. Mm. Um, this week's Back to Basics is about like support and people who aren't supportive, how many people who aren't supportive in your life. Uh, that hasn't been an issue for me, and I don't know if it's just that I have amazing people in my life, which I do, or if it's because... Um, like at like 11 weeks pre-op I basically put a public service announcement out on my personal um, Facebook that said my I've made up my mind the decision is made you are not going to talk me out of it I am having this surgery um, I'm going to get healthy uh, by any means necessary and anyone who has a problem with that can exit stage left. I don't know. Like, just don't, I don't want to hear your opinion. So, <coughs> 
I haven't had any negativity negativity at all. Um, everyone in my life's been really great. Uh, even people who are really just like acquaintances are huge cheerleaders and you're doing so great. You look so great. I read your blog, whatever. Um, that's the part of my weight loss that I make public. My blog is for, um, public consumption by my family and friends and acquaintances. But my YouTube channel is really, I only provide the links to my WLS family. If someone from my regular life like, came across them, it wouldn't be a big deal. It's just, <coughs> I'm more open on here. And I talk about other people in the WLS community, which obviously they wouldn't even know about, so I don't talk about them on my blog. But everybody's been super supportive and really great. Um, Lacey, uh, I Heart Lace RNY, in her video said that she was going to do this, like, a 30 day challenge. She was putting it together to kind of recommit. And at 12 weeks out, I shouldn't need to recommit. And I don't really need to recommit as much as I need to commit. I haven't really been consistent about my fluids, um, hydration, taking my vitamins. I need, I really need to get like a solid exercise plan and really stick with it. Uh, I was doing really good when David and I were just taking Jackson and going and walking every evening, but the weather changed and it is freezing. And so I can't really take Jackson and, um, I, yeah, I just need to get out in the garage and get on the treadmill and make it happen. So I signed up for the challenge for that. And it also is about like tracking all your food and hitting your nutrition goals and your protein and all of that. So yesterday I work at, for the millionth time I work in a school. Uh, I'm a teaching assistant or a paraeducator right now while I'm finishing my teaching degree. <coughs> and, um, so I do lunchroom duty, which for a weight loss surgery patient really kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't, it's cafeteria food, but it, it's pretty good cafeteria food. Um, and yesterday they had brownies with like the powdered sugar on top. And I was like, Ooh, that looks good. And so I got one and I ate it and I mean, they're tiny, like maybe and maybe two ounces, maybe. So, you know, it's not like I had some huge amount of food and stuffed myself. It wasn't that I wasn't like stuffed after I ate it or, um, I didn't feel sick or anything like that. But <clears throat> I did think, why did I do, why did I eat that? I'm not supposed to eat that. Like, that's not something I should be eating. And I'm not, I never planned to like deprive myself, but I had also not planned to just eat whatever the hell I wanted. So, you know, I, I had the calories to spare, so I didn't even go over my calorie goal for the day, but I still thought that's not a good choice. And all of a sudden I had this like major epiphany that I have a super serious impulsivity problem. I don't, um, yeah. I have no impulse control. So when I see something or I think about something, I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. I just go get it and eat it. Even if I'm not hungry or even if it's a bad choice or even if I can only eat like two bites of it. And I don't, I don't want to do that. And I don't know how to change it. And it just, I don't know why, but like, how did I not realize before that this was an issue? I obviously have impulse control problems. I obviously seek out in instant gratification because I had 
a drug problem when I was in high school and I have always had a man problem or issue with my relationships with the men and saying no and um, jumping in too quickly, being promiscuous, instant gratification. Um, I have always had a hard time saying no to other people and now I see that I also have a hard time saying no to me. So, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know how to change it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to reconcile that problem. So, if anyone has any ideas, I would love to hear them. Um, other than, like, actual therapy, because... I, when I say I live in a small town, I'm not kidding. There isn't a therapist here and I can't be driving an hour for therapy on my only day off during the week. I mean, I work four days a week, so I could go to appointments on Fridays, but <coughs> I can't afford to be doing that. Um, so self-help. I'm big on self-help. I've gone to therapy before. It doesn't work for me. Um, I feel like I'm more self-aware than any therapist has ever been. For I, I have a psychology degree, so maybe that's... <coughs> maybe I'm therapizing myself. But I, yeah. Therapy just isn't for me. I want to like see the problem and and work it out and read about it, fix it myself. Uh, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I just need to research it. I don't know. Any ideas? Leave them in the comments. Um, that's about it. Besides, last week I said something about uh, Jennifer Bleacher and Lacey I Heart Lace. Um, taking over the bariatric divas that was not quite true the bariatric divas is done over and they have their new show the naked truth it's gonna be awesome they had a great first show on sunday with less of sarah and goosh monster so that was exciting and um yeah and then of course uh i want to give a huge Super big sister love. Shout out to Walter. Congratulations, brother. I'm so happy to welcome you to the bench, finally. And also Dennis Vinny? Uh, Vinay? I don't know how to say your last name, but he got married on Tuesday and he had his surgery today. So, I mean, way to cram pack it into one week, but... Welcome to the Loser Schmitch and welcome to Mary's Life. Um, congratulations to you and uh, your husband, Jay. Uh, I'm so excited for you both and so happy. And yeah, that's it for this week. See you next week.